Learners are investigating a relationship between the mass of an object and the acceleration it experiences when a constant net force is applied on the object. They use their results to draw the graph below. And then there is the graph on the left hand side. Uh, we have one divided by acceleration on the y axis and mass in kg on the x axis. And then 4.1 says state Newton's second law of motion in words. Uh, we know fully well that it states that when a resultant force acts on an object, the object will accelerate in the direction of the net force. That acceleration is directly proportional to the net force and inversely proportional to the net force. When a resultant force acts on an object, the object will accelerate in the direction of the net force. The acceleration is directly proportional to the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. And then 4.2 says calculate the gradient of the graph and then it says 3 marks. This is just 3 free marks because you're not applying any physics you just calculate in the gradient. So to calculate the gradient, you're gonna pick any two points in our in the graph, right? And then calculate the gradient uh, between uh, the two points. So let's say we put we pick the point uh, zero and zero here, and then we pick this point here, uh, which is zero point which is zero point two five and zero point five. So we're gonna have um, the gradient, right, m equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Even when you're calculating gradient in math, you'll never gonna be awarded three marks. So let's go on, let's carry on and uh, do what the question is asking of us. So y2, uh, let's take 0 0.5, right? So we're gonna say 0 0.5 minus y1, which is zero, right? minus zero divided by x2 uh, which is 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 uh, minus zero and then this will be equals to 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.25 which is obviously just two right so if you take any other points you're supposed to get the same thing let's say for instance you take uh, this point here and this point when you calculate the gradient you will get the same exact thing so it's just three free marks and then let's do 4.3 4.3 says to us hence determine the net force applied on the object during the experiment right so for us to do that, we first have to determine what does the gradient of this graph give us? What does the gradient give us? Uh, because we can see that on the y-axis we have 1 divided by a and then on the x-axis we have the mass. So we use f net equals to ma to try and make sense of the gradient of the graph. So if we say f net uh, equals to ma. Uh, this f net will be our y, right? But we don't want f net to be our y. We want a to be our y because uh, on our y we have one divided by a, right? So in order to achieve that, we're gonna divide uh, by m and then we're gonna divide by m. So as a result, we'll get a equals to f net divided by uh, the mass. But on our y axis we have 1 divided by a clearly right and then here we have a so to do that we can take every side to the power of negative 1 right so if we say a uh, to the negative 1 equals to f net divided by m to the negative 1 we're gonna get 1 divided by a equals to m divided by f net right so we can also write this as 1 divided by a equals to 1 divided by f net multiplied by m. We know fully well that in math, uh, this can be y equals to mx plus c. Clearly, our y is 1 divided by a, our m is 1 divided by m net, 
and then our x is the mass and then we don't have a c right our c is zero so we're gonna say the gradient is equals to one divided by f net but what is the gradient we know fully well that the gradient is two because we just calculated it so if we cross multiply we get f net uh, multiplied by two equals to one so f net equals to one divided by two newtons right so in order to answer these kind of questions you have to be able to play around with the formula and get what you want to get from it right in our case our point was to get uh, one divided by a as our y and then uh, we did exactly that so in another case that this might not be true we might not be given one divided by a as our y maybe we might be given m as our y or something else i don't know but you have to be comfortable with playing around with the formula so that you can get what you want and then 4.4 says write down a conclusion for this experiment okay so the conclusion of this experiment look at this so we know that f net equals to ma right and then if we make a the subject of the formula we get uh, f net divided by m right so here we can see that acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass if you can say that it would still be true because that is true and you can uh, deduce it from the graph but then if you use one divided by a you can see that as the mass increases one divided by, by a increases you, you can so you can also say that one divided by a is directly proportional to the mass of an object one divided by a is directly proportional to the mass of an object i hope that makes sense but if it doesn't leave a comment and i will reply accordingly